Her name is Faranaz, and she isn't screaming in pain. She knows this room. She's been here before many times, and though she's only 18 months old, she can remember. She was first brought here to the clinic in Farah over three months ago, badly burned in a cooking accident. Third degree burn circumferentially on the upper thigh. Um, we decided that we were going to bring her up here and do a debridement. We debrided it. Um, we worked collectively with the SF anesthesia and surgeons and ourselves to make that happen. We've debrided it and changed it in dressing changes um, many times. It had been months since she suffered the burn and her scars were infected and preventing her leg from extending. The outlook was not good. The doctors here at the Farah Free Clinic cleaned a little Faranaz's wounds, but the skin graft and therapy the baby needed would be more than they had the means to accomplish. We used uh, high-speed stuff, uh, burn dressings, um, silver lawn, and... Um... Unfortunately, though, the burn was such that um, the scar tissue limited the movement in her leg, and she needed what we call a contracture release. She was also going to need skin grafts. So as opposed to trying to do that here, which we're not really set up for doing certainly pediatric cases like that, uh, the Air Force team coordinated through a um, uh, doctor in Kabul. It wouldn't be impossible, but it would be better to try and send her to the Kabul Afghan Reconstructive Surgery and Burn Center, where doctors could operate. Now, back home after her trip, Faranaz is in good health. Her wounds are healing, and they are clean. And she has even begun to walk although today she was not in the mood. And today was the first time I've seen her since probably beginning of January, and I was quite happy. Uh, the skin graft looked great. Um, the contractures are, have been released. And she was crying appropriately, as I say. She didn't like us, but she wasn't crying because her leg hurt or because she was sick, and um, her parents seemed very happy. And She'll be a normal child. You know, a lot of the, a lot of the patients we see here, they're, they're poor. Their families are poor. They don't have a lot of means. They don't have connections, they don't really have a lot of the opportunity. Um, so to be able to help them is uh, really uplifting. Uh, I love to see that stuff. You know, the little, the little successes that we have are huge for us. Her wounds will heal, and while she may never be very fond of doctor's offices, there is little doubt that the helping hands who gave her back the use of her leg will always hold a place in her heart. Senior Airman Tom Kennedy, Farah, Afghanistan.